morning guys welcome back to bits of an artist's life this is sandy okay guys i'm just gonna tell you i feel like i needed to hold my cup of tea even though i have to put it down because it's so stinking hot now it starts burning my hand i thought maybe that would help me like contain my excitement a little i feel inside like obnoxiously excited about today and this week actually i just feel really excited i feel like if you could see my insides you'd be like or if you had to spend much time with me <laughs> with the way i'm feeling right now you'd be like all right miss happy this is how i'm feeling on the inside right now <laughs> You are going to be watching this video well past this date. It's the middle of January right now for me because I'm ahead on my filming. Yay. But basically the holidays have gone on. We had a camping trip. There's just been, oh, I've been uh, doing a ton of editing for some like special videos that you guys have already seen and blah, 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 blah. Basically, I have not been doing much art and I'm feeling it. Like I get cranky. I can just feel like, okay, hot diggity doggity. I need to, I need to do some art. You know what I mean? So this weekend I thought, okay, I don't really know where to start. I don't have anything going. I need to get in my sketchbooks. So I've been kind of dabbling here and there. And I was working on editing a video yesterday for you guys from a painting that I did a while back that I was really excited about. And it was getting me like inspired and fired up. So I'm going to paint this morning. And then I've got a video this week that I'm really excited about sharing with you guys. And then I've got two video meetings this week that I'm really excited about. So I just feel like I have got to get to it. I'm not gonna start editing first thing because I'll get sucked into the editing hole. It's very hard to get out of that because it's very addicting. And I'm excited about this week's video. So once I start, so I'm going to create art this morning. I've got a couple pieces that I started over the weekend that I'm excited about and that I'm going to start on just to kind of get loosened up. I'd like to get a big piece going again. I really love having a big piece now to like work on. Now that I'm past so like feeling frustrated if parts of it aren't working, I'm at a place now where like I feel excited. If it's not working and then trying to figure it out but parts of it are working. The way I'm feeling now about a piece is if it starts getting good too fast, I'm like this happened too fast. I need to work on it some more. I want it to like continue. So I'm kind of glad when I'm having to just kind of keep working and it's not figuring itself out yet. I'm really enjoying that kind of maneuvering of it. I had, oh, I'll show you, a sketch this week. I did a couple, you can see a couple back there. Maybe I'll put some footage of those in here. We're just been playing with some different things. I did this painting right here. It happened too quick, like I was gonna really work on it and work on it, but it kind of turned out and I was like, well, that happened too quick. I felt warmed up and loose and ready to just like explore. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I'm just really excited about the day. So I'm going to sit down, answer emails, comments, things like that on Instagram and YouTube, and then get to painting. And I've got some podcasts I'm excited about listening to today too. So. Okay, I'm gonna get going and I'll bring you guys along as always.
Let me show you around a little. These are the sketches I did this weekend that I was telling you about. If you're like, what's this? Well, I don't know the word. The name Jane popped into my head. You'll see another painting I did where I named her Jane. I have no idea why. Can you tell that I kind of did this from this inspiration? You've seen her a lot. And then I really liked the looseness of this one and how she turned out. I've got this painting going. This is a wax pastel of our church. And I did this one this weekend. It's interesting. I feel like she looks like a friend of mine. I was going to put like a mask on her, but then I was liking how she was turning out. So I just left her. I just stopped. And then I also did this weird thing. I'm going to work some more on this. I don't like how his eyes are down here. So I'm going to repaint that. I think I'm going to start putting some of my phrases on my painting. And then over here, I have this like old, I think this is a wax pastel. Did I write it down? No, of course not. Just a really quick sketch I did one day. And there's things about it I really like. And then there's things I don't. I don't like this fork and then these things are a little distracting, but everything else I really like the composition. So I'm painting it with my golden fluid matte acrylics. And I started this and I'm really liking the composition. I'm trying to decide if I wanna put that plant right here, how it's coming up out of this. I think I do. So I'm gonna work on this right now, this morning. So I'm gonna go get set up and get to painting. Good morning. All right, here's my painting I did yesterday. I'm not in love with it. It's fine. I'm gonna just move on. It's just on a piece of paper. There's things about it I like, things about it that I don't like, but I'm ready just 
move on. This feels like more of a study and I don't really want to keep chunking away at it. I just want to move on and maybe it'll bring some inspiration later. There were a couple things about it. I was proud of myself for doing. I had a couple of cherries here that I really liked, but the overall working, it, it wasn't overall like working. And sometimes you ha do have to just kind of kill what you feel like is your favorite part to really make the whole thing work. Not that I feel like this painting is amazing, but I worked on that and then I still wasn't real happy with it. So I just started like, <sighs> I got some black. I made my own black and put these marks. I just felt like I needed to mess it up some. I'm not loving this, the value or the color. I don't know. There's too much of that. This needs to be changed, but I'm not going to mess with it. I love the oranges. The bananas are fun. There's, yeah, I'm happy with this. I like these polka dots. I just need to put it away. I may put it up on my board up there just to look at, to see if I do want to keep working on it, but at least for today. Yeah, at least for today, I'm feeling very over it. I was over it yesterday too. So on today's agenda, I have a lot of editing to do for this week's video. I want to do some painting. I think I'm just going to get in my sketchbooks. I have not worked in my sketchbooks for a while. I do find that I go through seasons where I'm either, you know, really like hot and heavy in the sketchbooks or in real paintings. And I just feel like right now I need to get in the sketchbook because I'm not feeling mentally ready or have anything that I'm really feeling inspired, inspired to do for a big painting. So I think I want to get in my sketchbook and just play. So I have editing, sketchbook stuff that I want to do. Also, I was thinking about this watch that I've told y'all about in other videos that's broken, but I really like it. And I was thinking, sometimes I want to wear it on the other hand wrist when I've got my other watch on, but it feels a little weird to have two watches. So I think what I'm going to do is paint the face of the watch. I'm thinking maybe like a cat face or something. And then if I don't like it, I can just like change it out or when I get tired of it, I'm gonna just change it out. So I think I'm gonna do that today. And then I also have a video chat with a small art challenge group that I've started a new one and there's a couple of us in it. And so we are going to do that. Maybe I should show you what I did this week. I don't really love it, but it is what it is. Well, I think I have the sketchbook in the other room. Yeah, I have it in the other room. I had to move you guys because it was a little too dark in here. I'm going to go get those sketchbooks and I'll show you guys that later. Basically, I did. Yeah, I'll just show you guys later. Should I just tell you about it? I'll tell you about it. We decided we were going to do a flip. So basically, there would be something here that we would paint or draw and then you would flip it up and there would be something else underneath. I, so I first did what I usually do, which is sketch out a bunch of ideas and see how they would possibly work. I thought I was gonna get to do two of them. There were two that I really liked the idea, but we went camping and I spent way too much time in the first one because basically I was doing it in a style that is not my style. I don't know why I did that, but I just did. Actually, I know I did it. I was reading a book of an illustrator and her style is way different than mine. It's a little bit tighter and then that just flowed over into my own work. But it was still fun. I'm excited about showing it with the ladies in my group. So I sketched all my ideas, did the first one. It took way too long and then I didn't get to my second one. So I got a little carried away, carried away and added like all these little pop-up things. I really wanted it to feel like the camper was, you know, out there camping at night and I put all these little googly eyes and creatures and stuff. And then I also decided to bring the cats along on our camping trip. Of course, Cooper wasn't very happy about that. So he expressed his concerns. And then on the inside, I did this crazy detailed sketch of the inside. I mean, I even put like my earplugs and cup and put a book there with Grady on the cover, which was funny. And then I showed the sketch to Grady and he was like, are you going to put Cooper or just the cow? So then of course I had to save that, put that in there, which was funny. But I still, I think I love my page where I sketched the stuff out the most. And I use for sketching my like ideas out. I took these China markers, peel off China markers with me. And I use these 
to sketch with. They're not very, you don't have much control with them, but it was fun for something different. And then I did like how the page turned out with just these two colors. It was really fun. I have a black one more too. I should have used that. So I kept these out. Usually I have these someplace not as accessible, but I really liked them. So I think I want to use them for something else. Yep. Those are my thoughts. That's what I want to work on today. So I think I'm going to get some painting. I think I want to get my sketchbook out and do something with it. I'm finding that I really like to get sketching or painting at the beginning of the day instead of getting sucked into the editing black hole. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go do that. Okay guys, well these turned out sufficiently weird, but they were super fun to do, and I'm just gonna tell you what, like the added details that I did, and like that, that was the funnest thing to do. So fun. I mean, sometimes you just gotta play, you know? All right, so the other day I was doing a sketch. I did a bird, and it was ginormous. Like, big, and then it didn't even turn out good. And I was thinking, oh great, okay, so I've totally messed this up. It kind of felt a little defeating. And then I was like, okay, no, I'm just going to like fill the page. Because that is one way to make something not as obvious or stand out. So I just crammed this page with birds and writing and it turned out like, I mean for a sketchbook page, really good. So I wanted to show it to you guys and also can kind of just Maybe, maybe it's a technique you would want to use. I really do like when the sketchbook pages are like really, really filled. I did that big bird and it was really bad. And I was like, okay, I'm on Operation Rescue. That's what it felt like. Let's rescue the sketchbook page. And I think I did a pretty decent job. One of the things I did, I painted a ground of like a really bright yellow because I was inspired by that sketchbook that I got recently. That's kind of small, but it has all those yellow pages in it. And I was like, well, I can create my own yellow pages. 
here's the thing. I feel like I'm talking 50 miles an hour, sorry. Here's the thing. It is kind of like slippery. Whoa, I was talking of slippery. I loved the way the markers went on it. It was smooth, but it was also, it's like they stayed wet for a little while. I loved it. I'm definitely gonna be doing this again, but let me show it to you. All right, so I used just my normal markers. I had a mixture of like Tombow and Faber-Castell, and here's the page. I was kind of surprised how many people liked it when I showed it on Instagram. So here's my big bird. I did not care for him. But then there's a whole lot about the page I do like, and can you see this? I don't know if it's gonna show up. Some of the things I did really liked, and then, you know, there were some birds like this. Look how funny he looks. I mean, he's weird looking. I was just going for really loose, but that's kind of like in the bad area of looseness. But then in the scheme of the whole thing, it looks good, I think. And then there were some that were a little more detailed. I loved how this guy turned out. And then, you know, he was a little weird. I thought about filling him in, but I just wanted it to feel like a working page. And then, you know, then I did more detailed stuff like that. I really like him. And then this guy, sometimes I like to write words that have to do with like the names of the birds. I mean, even just random things like just bird sketching. I'll fill in space sometimes with like little markings that either I see on the birds or I don't know, just whatever. I love the coloring of this. So there's the whole page and I was, I was happy with the fact that it was a decent rescue. Here's the other thing right here. You know how I was saying that the marker stays a little wet well, I accidentally smudged it, which that doesn't bother me at all. And then I made this little mark. So then I put some marker on my finger and licked it and then just kind of went around. And you can see little marks. Now, I don't know if it was the best idea, but it did create some, you know, like little texture. I just kept licking my finger and did that all the way around. Okay, now that I say that out loud, that sounded a little weird. I really like that method. I'm probably going to use it again in the future. All right, so that is my tip for Operation Rescue Sketchbook. Dun, dun, dun. I told you, obnoxious. All right, guys. Well, that is all the obnoxiousness y'all can probably handle for one week. So there it is. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some laughs and some inspiration. And I will see you back here next week, guys.